Hi. I'm glad you're back and we're going to test a new diaper in this video, the Cloudy from Bambino. And yes, that's not a misspelling, it really is spelled with two E S, as you can see on the package. It was a suggestion from you, someone had written to me that they would like to see a practical test of the Cloudy. Every now and then I take up diaper requests from you and make a video about it. This time, unfortunately, it took a little longer, which was also due to the fact that the diaper is not so easy to get in this country, more about that later. I first noticed the package, it contains only 8 pieces, unusually little, normally there are 10 to 12 units. Outside it has a foil, not a classic one, but it still feels quite soft, I find it pleasant. Inside we have the usual higher discharge cuffs, so you can put an absorbent pad inside to make it hold more. The suction capacity is listed as 4 to 4.5 liters. As always, these are lab values, not measured on humans. Instead, the diaper is immersed in water under less than natural conditions to see how much it can absorb. How much it can withstand in practice when worn, I'll show you later. By the way, you can buy them in sizes M, L and XL. That will make some of you happy, I keep getting comments where some are sad that not all diapers come in size XL as well. It closes with a reusable plastic adhesive, like the ones used on many ABDL diapers. There is an adhesive area at the front for this purpose. This works without any problems, you can easily peel off the glue, and after placing it, it holds tight. It's a proven technique that usually doesn't cause any problems. I wear size M and both the size and fit are as expected, nothing bad struck me here. I also find it pleasant that the diapers are not so stiff, pressed into the pack as I have seen with crinkles and better dry. Thus, they can be taken directly from the package and put on without having to first bring them into shape. In the practical test, the diaper has absorbed several loads of urine without grumbling, there was no leakage. At the same time, you feel quite well wrapped up. This is confirmed by the empty weight. At 215 grams, it's about in the upper mid-range. When I took it to its limit, meaning the pants over it were not quite dry when I sat down, the full diaper weighed 1.7 kilograms. While that's not a new record, the diapers with the strongest absorbency managed to crack the 2 kilo mark. But it's a good performance that doesn't need to hide. That's in isolation, it really only makes sense in my opinion when you put the suction power in comparison to the price. 24.93 euros costs a pack, which includes 8 pieces as mentioned in the beginning. Thus, a single diaper costs about 3.12 euros. That is unfortunately not little, especially since it is currently available in Europe only in a few stores at all. Here you can see why the individual price should always be compared with each other, and not the package price. 24.93 euros does not sound much, the rear safari, for example, costs even more. However, the safari comes in a pack of 12, so you only have to pay 2.33 euros each for them, which is significantly cheaper, even though the package is more expensive. This makes my conclusion on the cloudy diaper difficult, on the one hand, it surprised me positively. The theoretical absorbency was stated as 4 to 4.5 liters, which is comparatively low for ABDL diapers. In my practical test, it nevertheless held out a bit more than I expected. Otherwise, it has no weaknesses, it is well made, sits comfortably, feels good. And in addition, I find them visually interesting. How many diapers do you see in my stack of all tested so far, which are colored in turquoise? There aren't any. The only one we've had along those lines was blue, a somewhat dreary, dark blue, in my opinion. The turquoise is lighter and fits better in my opinion. You can certainly argue about that, but the fact is, the design is something new. There is also little to complain about the quality of the imprints. They are of course not extremely contrasty, which does not have to be at all with a comparatively strong background color to look appropriate. Qualitatively, this diaper is also much higher quality than Pampers, which for some time are probably the negative example par excellence. They save so extremely on the colors that they look as if the diaper has been in the sun for several years and thus faded. However, it is also a fact that the Bambino diaper is not a bargain, it is in the upper price range. If the price or the price performance ratio is important, then you should rather look around at other products. Rears offer some also thicker diapers, which are either cheaper and offer a comparable suction performance. Or even a slightly higher for about the same price. You don't have to miss out on the colorful designs there either. The Critter Caboose, for example, costs similarly and, in addition to higher absorbency, also offers colorful prints in a high quality, much better value than Pampers. For me, the Bambino therefore did not fail the test, but will not become an everyday diaper, because it is too expensive for that. I'll probably wear it more occasionally, so more of a diaper for special occasions.
similar to some other products from this manufacturer, which are not fundamentally bad, but compared to others quite high priced. Of course, you can see it differently, so feel free to write your opinion about this diaper in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video, if so, feel free to give it a thumbs up. You also can have a look at my other videos, which I made where trying out different diapers, if you don't like this one, I'm sure you can find another one there, which you like more. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, so you'll not miss any new diaper-related video. Have good time, bye!